Hi everyone, I'm Peggy and welcome to my page. I'm your Saint 3D Makeup Artist where we use one palette and one brush to create one layer of makeup using three shades. We use a contour shade, this is cream makeup, so we use a contour shade and two highlight shades. Your contour shade is going to be dark and scary and it's going to be a cooler tone than a bronzer. Then we're going to move to your brightening shade which is going to be a lighter shade kind of like a concealer shade and then we're going to move to the main shade which is the shade that's going to be the closest to the color of your skin now how do you know which shades work best for you which three work together to create one layer of makeup that doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles that's what you have me for watch and see here we go I'm going to put my brush down for right now because I'm going to apply with my finger I have more control with my finger. If you'd like to apply with a brush, that is totally fine. You do you. So I'm going to start with the contour shade, which is this dark, scary shade, and I'm going to put it on the hard parts of my face. The hard parts meaning up around my forehead close to my hairline, there we go. Then we're gonna come over here, move the hair out of the way and feel for the cheekbone. You feel the roundness of the cheekbone. We're gonna go right on that cheekbone to just a little bit underneath it. We're gonna come over here, do the same thing. Feel for the roundness of that cheekbone. Just press on your face, you will feel it. And we're gonna start right at the corner of the eye and go up. There we go, right along it to just below it. Not a whole lot below it, just a little bit. Then I'm going to come and I'm going to come to the other hard part of my face, which is going to be the jawbone. So if you notice, I have these two things called divots. These divots are the beginning. They're not the beginning. They are jowls. I hate jowls, but it is what it is. So I'm to keep those from being accentuated because this is a distraction on my face that does bother me. I am going to start just up from the divot and I'm going to go right along the jawbone right to the corner of my ear where my ear is on the jawbone. Same thing over here, just below the divot and up. Now, I have a turkey neck. So what I want to do is create a shadow, which is what contour does. So I'm going to start at one divot and go underneath and connect the two. Then I'm just going to run a little bit of what's left on my finger of this contour down my neck. Now look at the shadow it created and look how already my face is a little lifted. My cheeks look like they're higher and where they used to be. I'm 67 so everything <laughs> has moved south needless to say. So now we're going to move to a bright, the brightening shade. This is a highlight. This is kind of like your concealer or goes in places where the, your concealer would, like the center of the forehead. We're going to come right down the center of the nose. Now, you can contour your nose if you like. Let's do that real quick. We're going to just put our pinkies into our contour. We're going to rub them together. Put them so they touch and come right down. Now you see how that narrowed and elongated my nose immediately. What we're going to do now is come back over and we're going to just brighten between those two lines. Look how much narrower my nose looks. That's one of the beauties of a brightening highlight. Now we're going to catch the cupid's bow and we're going to catch the center of the chin. Now, where normally people would put concealer, I have crepe skin under here. Again, I'm 67. It's not terrible, but it's there. So we're just going to tap into our brightening shade and come to the inner corners of our eyes and place our brightening highlight there. Then we're going to come over here and place our brightening highlight on the outer corners of the eye, inner and outer corners. As we blend, that is going to, to go underneath the eye. Until we blend, though, we're not going to do the V-shape or the pie like we were taught to do years ago. 
If you're 60 plus, you're probably past that. And you really, that's, you know, the skin underneath there, if it's crepey like mine is, you don't want to accentuate it. So what we're going to do now is come to where I have these marionette lines that go into the gel, the two divots. I apologize, my internet connection is terrible today. But we are going to come right into that fold and down that marionette line to that divot and we're going to brighten that area because while we made shadows with our contour, we are taking away the shadows. The fold will be there, but the shadow the fold makes will be less noticeable. So let's just continue to come down on this side. There we go. Now we're finished with our, our brightening shade. So we're going to move to the main shade, which is going to be the shade that is the closest to your natural skin tone. Mine is sandy. Yours will be different because it depends on what your skin tones are. So I'm going to put Sandy. As you can see, this is a great match for me because you can barely see it. I'm going to put that where I have no other makeup. It's like, to me, a filler shade, which would be the bearded part of your face if you were male. And then down on the cheeks where we don't have anything. You don't use a lot of product. That's the beauty of cream. Less is more. So we're going to come up here and we're going to fill in right between where our brightener is and where our contour shade is. Placement is finished, totally finished with this will be my foundation. Three shades, two highlights, one, con uh, one contour shade, and it's going to be the one layer of makeup. And again, it does not settle because it's cream into the mature fine lines and wrinkles that I have. And goodness knows I have a lot of those. Now you can start blending at this point. Pick up your brush and start blending. I like to add my lip and cheek shade. This is sandstone and yes, lip and cheek, which means dual purpose. Look how pretty this is. I love, I love color and I love sandstone so much. Okay. There we go. Get the corners out of the way. And now we're going to put it on our cheeks. Lip and cheek, yes, that is your blush shade as well. Everything that I put on my face is in this one palette. It is magnetic. These tins are individual, so you only replace what you need. You don't have to replace the whole thing. It doesn't fall out. It's not a liquid. It's a cream. TSA approved. It's just the best makeup in the world. This is my makeup bag. What could be more simple? It just doesn't get any easier. Now I'm going to pick up my brush. This is the 3D brush, my favorite brush that Saint makes. It has this little buffy end or like a little cotton tail on a bunny, kind of, sort of. So I really like to blend with this one. You can, with the long domed in, you can place your makeup with that. It's strictly up to you. This is a no rules type thing. The only thing is we're strategically placement. Placement is key. That's a big one. So if you feel you have more control with your finger, use your finger. If, you, if you're used to a brush and a brush would work better, then definitely use a brush. With this being cream makeup, it does need to be set. So I like to set with a damp brush. So I'm going to give it a little squirt. Just tap it in so it's not dripping wet. I start at my jawline, simply because if I don't, I forget it's there. Hi, everyone. I'm so glad you joined me. Thanks so much. So we're going to start at the jawline, and we're just going to do gentle circles and drag it down our neck. Now, do you see the shadow that that is forming? What that is doing is it's bringing my jaw forward and making it to where you don't notice either the double chin or the turkey neck that we have. I particularly have a turkey neck, so there it is. There it is. Now, we're going to come over to the bearded area of our, of our face, and we're just going to start stippling, which is gently tapping this cream makeup into our skin. 
This wears like a second skin. You can't tell really that you have the makeup on. It's beautiful makeup. It's wonderful makeup. And we're just going to continue to do the lighter shades. Again, not a lot of product on my brush. We're going to come around the eye. I can flip it around to the domed in. And let's just get around the eye without pulling, just tapping it into place. You don't want to blend too much. If you blend too much, you blend it out. And that's like the first mistake most make. So since we contoured our nose, we're just going to gently tap. We're not going to blend, blend, blend. When we first started with liquids and powders, the best thing to do or the way we were taught was you continue to blend and then you build. You just continue to build. That's fine as long as your skin is beautiful and you're young and you have nothing for it to fall into. Well, guess what? Things change as we get older. I had stopped wearing makeup simply because it just wasn't fun anymore. I felt it looked old, made me look older. It was cakey and it just, I just didn't like the look. So it was like, if I'm going to look this bad, we'll just wash, moisturize and go on. That is until I found this cream makeup. The Saint gave me the joy of putting makeup on again. So here we go. Now we're going to come up here to this, this um, contour shade on my forehead. And we're going to just make soft circles. You don't, you no need to press. Just circle and blend. What we're doing is marrying the ends of each of these shades together so that we are creating one layer of makeup. There you go. Can you believe that? It's created a shadow. I have a high forehead. It's created a shadow to give my face more of a depth and dimension. As you can see from the jaw, you don't notice what's going on with this turkey neck as much. And that's what we're looking for. Something that will make us look our best. The way, not, not how we looked when we were 20, where nothing is going to make us look like we were 20. Even plastic surgery won't do that. But we want to look our best at the age we are, especially if you're in your 50s, 60s, even 70s and 80s. I have some, some clients that are in their 80s, and these ladies are beautiful with their saint makeup on. Now, let's finish our blend. We're going to come to the contour, and what we're going to do is I like to go up and down twice to soften the blend, then grab it and tap up with the lip and cheek or your blush shade up into the temple and just soften. There you go. You don't want to swipe. You don't want to rub. You just want to gently tap. Same thing on this side. Gently tap up and down twice to get a soft blend. All we want is a soft blend. Then grab it and drag it up with our lip and cheek, our blush shade. And there you go. We are done. Now you can flip your brush around if there's maybe something that you don't quite like the way that it was blended. And there you go. We're done. I'm finished. I have a full face of makeup. I did it with one palette. I used each of these four colors. And again, I change my lip and cheek daily depending upon what I'm wearing or what I feel like for that day. So how do you get started with this beautiful cream makeup from Saint? That's so simple. What I want you to do is go to a window, look outside, you're facing outside, pull up your blinds, open your curtains, and let the natural sunlight in. At that point, I want you to have no makeup on. I know, no makeup. I, I want you to catch your face, your neck, and a little bit of your decollete if you can. Look into your phone, again, facing outside, and take a selfie. I have a link that you'll upload that selfie to, answer a couple of questions, and at that point, I'll recommend what your three shades would be. Your lip and cheek is up to you. You may not be as bright of a of a um, a shade person as I am with my lip and cheek. You may be a pink girl, and that's totally okay. Hi, thank you. So what you want to do at that point is I'll send you my recommendations via email, and it's up to you.
It's a free, no obligation to buy whatsoever service that I give to you. Check it out. See what you think. Do you have any questions? Let's talk about it. Again, it's no obligation to buy. It's strictly a color match, my gift from me to you. If you decide you do want to, to purchase this, well, then I'll walk you through the process. I'm wondering, too, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, what would you have to lose other than seeing if you love this new makeup? For mature skin women. Again, I'm 67. I appreciate you joining me today. You be the reason someone smiles today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.